What do you make of this uh, demand from Peter to call a, a f what's called a farm an animal sanctuary? Well, I think Peter on the mark again on this one. And I think Lego has, mis has made a misstep on this as a matter of fact. What it's shown on the, the box that's just after being launched is animals looking and appearing happy when the reality is, is this, this is not the case for animals on today's modern factory farms and slaughterhouses. So ideally, Peter, coming with a very reasonable request to Lego, which is to rebrand it, to take them off of the shelves and put something on that shows the reality of taking animals out of abusive situations and into a sanctuary. So do you feel the same for fire stations or ambulances? Should they have dead bodies and morgues? And those as well for two to five year olds? Well, here's the thing. We, I suppose kids in this day and age, there's, we, they're no long, we can no longer dupe them because with a well, click of I a button... I have a two year old and a five year old and I dupe them on a daily basis. Well, here's the, it's all about compassion and kindness. And I think in this day and age, we, we need a little bit more kindness with everything that's going on in the world. But Lego um, surely should rethink their position on this one. Um, putting out a product that's not shown the reality is in, in many ways duping. Um, kids that will be buying these sets. We've been long conditioned to think that animals are on farms that are happy and that they're well looked after. And in most cases with factory farms and slaughterhouses around the world, this is not the case. Uh, I suppose when you're, I suppose it depends, not just depends on where you are, but in Ireland, like, you know, we kind of grew up on farms. It, it, it was a lovely place. I knew all the cows. It was a small dairy farm. You know, all the animals were treated really well. And of course, until they were slaughtered. I get that. But, you know, is it just a bit... It's not a big deal. It's just changing a word, Jen. What do you think? I mean, I can understand. I can understand. And I think, like, everybody has huge concerns about animals. And I know it myself. I know it actually did have an impact on me when I, I learned what, what happened to the animals yeah. and where our food came from. So I do know that. But I do think when you're looking at this, this is age two to five. We tell our kids white lies and much bigger than white lies on a daily basis to protect them. And in terms of age appropriate, I'm not sure I would want my two to five year old to know the realities of where the animals end up or to know about slaughterhouses or to know about to know about even battery hens. And I don't I don't think I want them to know about that. They will know about that in time, but not at two to five. And this, the, you know, for them, most kids at that age who have visited a farm, it be, perhaps be a pet farm. They'll have had a nice experience. They're relating it to that. Um, but then is that why there's not a big not deal calling it an animal sanctuary? Because they've gone, probably gone to a petting farm and been like, oh, well, this is an animal sanctuary. So it's just a change in a word. I, I mean, you could, you could argue that, but at the same time, you know, kids hear about what farms are. What's a farm? They play with toys. They play with toys which represent things that they know. They play with, like, little supermarkets because that's what they know. They play with farms because that's what they know. You see, you see all these... But in an increasingly globalised world, you don't have kids who are... We're not agrarian anymore. We, you know, there's more people living in cities. Yeah. So they don't know what a farm is. They might not... Like, they probably never well, visited that's a farm you'll, you'll, ever. You'll, like, see, like, you'll see, like, some my kids, the dog kids... But that's, that's Ireland. Really you know, there's five go. million yeah. of us. We're talking about a worldwide global brand for an awful lot of people that mightn't be going near a farm. Do we want to tell a two to but again? Do we want to tell a two to five year old? Like, do they have? Where the, do they have so the ability to and the imagination. understand that? Yeah. Well, you, you literally don't encourage. have to tell I mean, them. What's because jo I can see you want to come in on this as well, John. <laughs> Pretty much because we've we've hid the reality of what's happening for animals on factory farms and slaughterhouses, for farms and inside of laboratories for too long. But times have changed in this day and age for human rights, animal rights. We're coming around. We're joining the dots and we're bridging the disconnect. And now it's time that we've taken this up as well. I think the next time, if we can come back here in five years or ten years' time, I. I think this particular uh, product from Lego will be taken off of the shelves and I'm sure it will be replaced with showing animals in a sanctuary it taken will, out of abusive situations. Do you, know, do you not even, but do you not even, they just, they're just asking for a rebrand of the name. They don't want to take it off the shelves. Well, no, what, what I'm trying to say is, is that we put the, the, the toys back on the shelves, but with a sanctuary is what we would be really but saying. But how far does this go, though, John? Well, I mean, you like, know what? You're trying to, this is young kids. You're trying to educate them about animals and educate them about farms and get them interested in these young things. You know, when do you think is the right time then for, is there a right time to, to sit down your children and tell them, you know, what happens, a chicken and gets to your plate, uh, you know, because like I grew up in the countryside and you learn these things. And, you know, it, it doesn't become a big thing, I think, from such a young age. The front of the Lego box They're at the harmful. minute is very idyllic and it's it's very pleasant and it's lovely, as a matter of fact. But this is toy. not the reality. It's a toy. Well, it is, but, I mean, from a very young age, we've all become accustomed to drinking milk and eating meat as a result for many more from years of us believing that, you know, that was the only way that we could do it. But in this day and age, going into um, a supermarket and trying a vegetarian or a vegan diet is just as easy as choosing a different oil in the grocery store. And I think 
genuinely consumers are changing their habits with a click of a button now we can bring people inside of slaughterhouses and laboratories fur farms factories farms slaughterhouses and the reality here is is that there's kinder solutions in this day and age so that we can but, all be kinder but, 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 no it's i totally same. get that but i get that that's what you can do in reality in actuality but and this it's is happening, but this actually. is a this is a toy for two to five year olds little and, children and again hospitals like you can say more but domestic that, abuse 20 like, percent like, of people have domestic abuse do we have to bring that into lego like we don't well, lego are very actually very lego are very mindful i'm a, I've always been a, a fan of Lego and I have an unopened box and I don't think I ever want to unopen it as a matter of fact. Is it of a farm? It's, it's, <laughs> uh, it's I, actually, it's not of a farm. Okay. <laughs> but, and I'm a big fan of the brand as a matter of fact and I think that they will turn, with the huge amount of attention that this story has got, only good can come from as a result of us having this conversation. Our bad. And I think whatever consumers For do, people, people having their breakfast this morning, it's really about what we can do to just be kinder and more considerate toward those less weaker than us and that includes animals. But too, it's the sure. truth. Do you know, this is what happens. Well, what's the difference between bird farm and animal sanctuary? I'm just wondering, what's the, like, why would you have an, because, a, an issue going, so what, hey, Jamie, here's an animal so sanctuary? So what would you grow up in an animal sanctuary? Like, what, what would the... You can't grow up as a farmer then, would you? So do, do you say, to get the car, farm set? How do we teach our kids about a farm then? Do, are we just going to pretend farms don't exist? Like, this is how children Can we children bring them learn. inside of today's farms? No, then? not a two to five year old can't, because you have to be age appropriate here okay. too. And, and that lovely idyllic view that kids see of hospitals and of farms and of fire stations, that's what it, they should see at two to five, because we don't want them exposed to the reality. Well, let's do not it the at other that way around. Then. That's let's, a different let's bring, situation. Let's, let's set up a little set that shows animals in a sanctuary that are taken but from abusive situations. But again, we're ignoring situations. the fact that farms but exist But here's the other thing as well, that. if I can say this. You know, I've long campaigned to get religion out of Irish schools. I think it should be replaced with a kindness towards animals project because I can assure you that we will be more respectful. We'll have less um, indifference towards each other and there'll be less violence and, um, in this world too. And I think, again, we and could listen, do it a little I, bit more kindness in this world. I, I, sure. I, 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 I couldn't animals. agree with you more, but I do think, and I, and I think kids are inherently kind to animals. That's why I think it would be huge. Hugely traumatic to them to actually discover that that gorgeous cow they were looking at, that, that lovely pig, is going to a slaughterhouse. Yeah, That's, yeah, oh, here we go. I don't want them to know it. Was five. Pork and chop. Pork and chop. <laughs> because we knew what the reality of what way it was going to be. And I think that, you know, kids as they you grow knew, older. Yeah. yeah, of course. So you grow older and you know that these things, that's the way it is. And that's about making that decision. But I think to be to be hitting Lego for un young children at this age, I think is a little bit too they, far. They